Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show five sketching tips that I like to show in every Inventor Essentials class that I teach. Now, these tips aren't in any particular order, just how they came out of my head. But hopefully, these are tips you can start using right away. So, here is tip number one. Many of us have seen this functionality, if not all of us. And what is that functionality? As I'm placing geometry inside of Autodesk Inventor, Inventor will automatically create constraints such as horizontal, vertical, tangent, parallel, and perpendicular. It just depends on what I'm doing with the geometry and what geometry already exists on the page. But let's say, for example, I need something like a taper. I want to be close to vertical, horizontal, etc., but not quite. All I have to do is hold down the control key and automatic constraining is turned off for the entire time I hold down the control key. Let go of the control key and the functionality is back. Nice way of doing things prevents you from having to delete constraints after the fact. Little quicker, little easier. Now for tip number two. I'm creating this figure right here. And as I place this line near horizontal, I can actually see by the preview that Inventor wants to create a perpendicular constraint between the line I'm currently drawing and the long vertical line on the far right. Now I don't want that. Let's say for the sake of this discussion, I want to be parallel to the line on the bottom. There's an easy way to get there. Just take your cursor and scrub the line you want to build the constraint to. You don't want to click, that would place the line. Just kind of scrub it with your mouse cursor. Once that's done, I can go ahead and now I can see that there's a parallel symbol between the line I'm sketching and the line on the bottom. And you can do that with any geometry you want. So, if Inventor isn't giving you the constraint you want, there's still a way to get there. Now, for number three. This one's a bit of a challenge, but well worth it. I'm going to create an arc from the line tool. A little like the polyline command for those of you who remember AutoCAD. So here I am, I'm creating lines, but what I really want to do is create an arc. Here's the trick. I'm going to move my cursor to the point where it snaps back to the start point of this line. Now, I'm going to hold the left mouse button down and keep it held down. Next, imagine you're drawing the arc with your cursor. So I'm going to go ahead and drag up and over. And I can change this as long as I hold the left mouse button down. For example, if I drag left or right, I could create a perpendicular arc. But what I really do want is a tangent arc, so I'll go back to that start point, still holding my left mouse button down, drag up and over, and complete it. So there it is, the drag arc. Like I said, takes a little bit of patience on that one, but well worth it in the end. Now for tip number four. I've got this figure and I'm ready to go ahead and close it. Now I could draw this line and connect to the line on the far side and make this a watertight figure. However, there's a quick way I can also do it. All I have to do is right click and choose the option to close. And I can quickly close the figure without going all the way over to that point and connecting it and even possibly making a mistake, maybe missing the point and having to add a constraint afterward. Yes, it's simple, but it is effective. And finally, tip number five. I'm sketching inside of Inventor with the line tool, and what I'd like to do is start a brand new line, not attached to this particular piece of sketch geometry, but somewhere else within the same sketch. Now I could hit escape, but I'd have to start the line tool. I could restart that easily enough, but how about this? While you're still sketching, right click and choose restart. I'll go ahead and stop where I am, and I can begin sketching a new set of lines somewhere else where I need them, and then right click and restart again, and continue that as many times as I need. Is it a big deal to start the line tool all over again? No, it's not. But this, again, might make things go a little bit smoother. So there we are, five simple inventor sketching tips. Hopefully there were some things you didn't know in here and some things you can start using right away. That's it for this video. Have a great day.